so you can see what's going on in the first bedroom. What are you doing, Kevin? Kevin, what are you having to do? Uh, fix squirrel damage. <laughs> Even the little bit that we put lights out at our other house, and we had a lot of squirrels. We never had them mess with the with the wiring. This is the second time they chewed it. Or maybe he'd come by in one day and chewed in two places. And no, because this, was this lit up last night? I don't know. If I, if I, I don't know, but we're going to have squirrel in the pan pretty soon if he don't watch it. Welcome to what they considered the master. And I guess with a double bed, yeah. But not with our great big bed and TV. And it's a really small bathroom, but hey, I don't need a big bathroom. It's a nice shower. We haven't used it yet. They've painted the ceiling for some reason and cleaned all that off. But it's really nasty. I wish the walls weren't textured, but they are. It is what it is. Look at how dirty the lights are. Well, I'm fixing to tackle this room. The cedar trim is put up so poorly. We're taking it all down. And I'm gonna drop it down to the floor and remove this. Kevin is dying to get the carpet out of here. He said, oh, it's gonna be easy because it's just a little, just a little room. It doesn't run in or connect with anything else. He's become the floor laying pro, so. I taught him as long as it's ready for guests, whenever we, you know, have some. And I've got paint, and I'm fixing to paint. I'd like to replace these doors, but you know, that's a long time coming. And the trim too, it'll be a long time before we get rid of the trim around the doors. You know, if we replace the doors, it'll get new trim. But we'll see, He's uh, he's gone right now to get, if they're still there, there was two bathroom vanities on sale. And they were 36 inches long. They come out with a lot more space. And they were really cheap. They were marked down for clearance. And yeah, we're gonna leave the light up for a while. This is coming off. The owners that had this before left this, so I'm fixing to take all this out. So. He has gone into town, and as you can see here, they had a little trim up, so I've got to get to filling holes and getting doors off. Look at this little bitty towel rack. Now, this part of the house was built in um, 1986. I think they got finished. I think they started it in 85. And it got finished in 86, and I had my first son in 85. And we started thinking about building our house that we just sold because we needed more room. Once his brother was coming, because we only had a little bitty small extra room. Well, it was a three bedroom, but one of the bedrooms was so small. We didn't feel that it was right. Come on. No, do more. I guess it's not backing out on its own. Pull it out. Oh, 
my fingers just don't work. I've got arthritis really bad in my hands and I go to use them and they fail me. And they don't have no strength anymore, but I've learned how to do that. <laughs> Because I got patch anyway. Crap. That's what you get when you strong arm it. We're going to take down this uh, medicine cabinet that's on the outside of the wall. Normally they're inset into the wall. So I don't know what happened there. But uh, I'm happy with just a mirror up there. I don't need a rusty old medicine cabinet. If it was inset, maybe I would keep it. You know, there's got to be a way to repurpose these. Maybe put a mosaic on the mirror and use it as a storage cabinet for pipes. I think I got an idea that I'm going to repurpose it. In fact, I'm going to have two. Two of them to repurpose. I see a little pink paint around the uh, electrical plug. I took the cover off. Pepto-Bismol pink. And uh, I can't wait to see what's behind this cabinet. Although I see white. I think maybe they put it up and then paint it. I don't know. But I can't imagine this room pink. She was a frilly thing. Her her bedroom, her closet had the prettiest curtain rod in the old house. So okay, let me see if I can get this down without breaking it. Oh, it's stuck there. Bad. Oh my gosh, look at the dust on top of this, y'all. Look at the dust. Probably never ever wiped off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes people don't look up, especially if they're short. I want y'all to see. Make sure I've got safe wires here. I don't know what that wire is. Oh my goodness. That's a ground, I guess. Running through there. Look at the dirt. You see all that? I should have got a brush. All I want in this whole life, a little red house in a country wire, a picnic table out on the lawn, a couple of kids and a couple of dogs, work all day to half past five, a chain link fence and a gravel drive, the wind chime ringing on my front porch, a brand new carpet on every floor, and a rope swing tied around a limb of a tall oak. years and years of dirt so y'all see how frosted up that is how nasty I'm fixing to get that clean and shiny
right off the bat. It's just too nasty. And Kevin can't stand it, and he is going to put in flooring. Y'all can see Kevin has a black underlayment in his hand, and we have concrete floor. And we have lost our mind and jumped right into a little remodel. We kind of put lipstick on a pig. But we do like the flooring we're putting down. And why, you ask? Why are we putting new flooring in already? I've got company coming. i got a lot of company coming. And a lot of people spending the night. And so... I'm fixing this room up for a special couple. And this is bedroom number two. It is really, really dark and dirty. Uh, I'm painting this room gray also. We're not painting the closets. The only way we would paint these closets would be if we just couldn't find any kind of flooring that looked decent. And you know what that is right there? That's called putting your chemicals on letting them do their job let them sit at least five minutes and let them do their job cut your work in half now here we are another day trim is painted i wanted to show you the dirt just on i don't know if you can see it you can't really see it the dirt on the door hung in 85 and probably never really given a thought yeah i'm painting it after i clean it oh, what a difference some paint makes i'm sorry if you're the wood lover i like good wood this kind of stuff you can't even really sand it down and you can't refinish these really except by painting. They're just holodor.